The Dow is down 14 points today. Notice how it did an indecisive spinning top doji type day, revealing that there was not a whole lot of selling force occurring uh, in the trading today. Still continuing to have an implication that the overall uptrend remains in progress. You add the fact that the NASDAQ also sold off slightly, but notice that it didn't do anything that would have told you there was a severe change of investor sentiment, just some backing and filling. But the most important uh, index was the transportation index. Notice how it's doing a J-hook pattern, using the T-line as a port, breaking out through the other or the high of uh, a couple months ago, implying that there's going to be more upside, the same magnitude as wave one. When you add all this together, knowing that the T-line, I'm sorry, that the uh, transportation index has the potential of moving higher, that makes the likelihood of any selling pressure coming into the other indexes that much uh, more smaller. That we're just going through kind of a consolidation stage in the other indexes because there's still strong buying over here in the transportation index. Knowing that the transportation index has been acting strong allows us to pinpoint the stocks in that sector or that industry or those industries to be the uh, ones that we want to be in. Notice that we had a bullish Doji sandwich breakout in Alaska Air. And now we're nudging up here at the 50. So we can watch to see whether it's going to go through or it's time to take profit. American Airlines is showing us the bobble breakout. A J-hook pattern right here at the 50-day moving average. With the likelihood that the next target should be up here at the 200. But just the implication that we could be in the right direction at the right time because the, the whole sector is acting well. And we can see strong candlestick patterns in each one of those sectors. Our recommendation on STNG, Scorpio Tankers, also was on the basis that if the transportation index was acting well, and we could see a slow curve bullish pattern breaking out through the 200, that our recommendation to buy this one was not anything magical, it was just telling us, the buying strength was coming into this chart pattern, giving us a high probability of being in the right place at the right time, number one. And two, that we might be in something that's going to give us a very strong price move. Anytime we see a slow curve at the breakout level, we've got extremely high probabilities there's going to be an explosion to the upside. When our scans start showing numerous pattern setups, like J-hook patterns, that's another indication that there isn't a whole lot of selling pressure in the markets, that we just have to identify which ones have a strong upside potential. The J-hook pattern bobble breakout, identified in AL, air leasing, gives us a very strong indication that wave one, wave two, wave two stopped by a bullish harami now going into wave three, makes the likelihood of the 200-day moving average, which would be the same magnitude as wave one, the next likely target. Now, that gives us uh, more opportunities to be in the right direction at the right time and or if you're not buying the stock, you're buying the options, giving you different uh, prospects of spreads that might work much more effectively knowing where your upside target might be. Just knowing when you have probabilities of being in the right place at the right time and what the magnitude of the move might be just gives you a lot more opportunities to dramatically improve your profitability. That'll be it. We'll see you in the chat.